This has got to be the smartest move in history by a fast food chain. I'm serious. You know why? Because this works for their marketing and it works for their bottom line. And I'll tell you exactly why in just a moment. Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to all you new subscribers. Great to have you here in 2022. To the new people, make sure you check out the, uh, I don't know what, we've made 700 plus videos over the last six months. A lot of that content you're not going to see anywhere else, by the way. A lot of it is really interesting information that covers what actually is going on in the world of batteries and electric cars and it's not what you think if you haven't been watching this channel now big welcome back to everyone else welcome to the new year and taco bell very smart move here what are they doing they're installing charging stations at all of their fast food joints that's what we call them in australia yeah taco bell i like tacos i don't know about you i like tacos i like electric cars and i like having chargers charge electric cars while you eat your tacos what could be better than that i mean sounds perfect to me in addition to that it works well for taco bell you come into taco bell right you buy your tacos you charge your ev you give them some money for the tacos and you give them some money for the charging station now i should point out bp said their electric charging stations are making nearly as much money as their petrol stations already even though most places adoption, electric car adoption is still ramping up. Imagine when we hit 50%. Surely by then their charging stations will be making more money for them than their petrol stations or their gas stations. So the same could work out really well for Taco Bell. I don't know about you, but I mean, if I was going to pick a fast food joint, first of all, I like tacos. Secondly, if I could charge my car there, that would be perfect. Now, this EV charging scheme is going to raise $6.2 million in funding. And it's coming very soon to 70 Taco Bell locations. Now, the electric says that just days after announcing a first of its kind taco subscription service, EV charging startup ChargeNet has announced plans to bring a comprehensive charging solution to one of the restaurant's San Francisco locations later this month. Now, I'm just gonna point this out in case I forget by the end of the video. I sometimes have these ideas in my head and I forget to tell you what they are. Think about this, right? All these people blabbing on saying, I live in an apartment block, I can't charge an EV. Uh, and I'm thinking, you realize, right, that we're charging, councils all over the world are putting charging stations in the street, right? And if you can't get to that, you know, once a week, then eventually, when there's a charging station at your college, your university, your work, your fast food joint, your supermarket, then, I mean, really, you don't have any excuses anymore. They're going to be everywhere. They're literally building them out at this insane pace everywhere you can imagine. I literally have right now more than 90 tabs open on my computer of all different locations where charging stations are getting built out across the United States. All kinds of different places everywhere you can imagine is starting to build these charging stations out. So we're pretty easily solving that challenge of saying, wow, I don't have an EV charger at my house. I mean, obviously, in addition to that, remember that petrol stations, gas stations are starting to, what? Install electric chargers. I've got a video coming out within probably 24 hours about what's going on there. Now, interestingly, I also made a video about Shell changing one of its gas stations in the UK, one of its busiest, to an electric only station. Genius. I love it. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. Now, ChargeNet, the company that installs the chargers, says it is a software startup that brings together EV fast chargers, on-site battery storage, solar power, and a payment platform in a footprint that's designed to be dropped into existing fast food restaurant parking lots. Once up and running, the company claims customers will be able to add about 100 miles of range in about 15 minutes for under $10. Now, this is what the company said. EV drivers need fast charging as part of their daily routine. That comes from ben Brendan Bell, COO of Align Climate Capital, the company that led ChargeNet's funding round. More than 5 million people eat at Taco Bell restaurants across the country every day. ChargeNet brings fast charging to these drivers and clean energy to the restaurants. Perfect solution, clean energy and fast charging. Now, I think it's worth noting that I think petrol gas stations may struggle because if we have these charging stations at all restaurants and places where we eat lunch and places where we go all the time, supermarkets and everywhere else, and our houses as well, how necessary will it be to have electric charging stations as commonly as we now have 
gas charging stations? I'll put that to you. Let me know in the comment section below. Now the fast food franchisees will also be a benefit from adding ChargeNet's system to their parking lots by integrating solar panels and on-site battery energy storage. ChargeNet believes the restaurant will be able to reduce its utility costs by using any excess energy generated by the solar panels. Now, if you've got a big solar panel system, you'll know that there's many times of, of day when you use less energy than what the panels are making. So if they can use that extra energy, that's a bonus. Now, ChargeNet are gonna be installing six charging stations per restaurant for 70 different restaurants over the coming months. That's 420 charging stations. So another cool thing, right? That the electric points out and which I wish I could get here in Australia, but I can't. And you should probably do this if you love tacos. Now, Taco Bell launched an all new subscription taco service that for $10 grants members 30 tacos in 30 days. 30 tacos for 10 bucks. Bring it here, Taco Bell. Come on, baby, I want some. Seriously. Anyway, the national launch of the Taco Lovers Pass follows a successful September 2021 pilot program in Arizona, where a number of taco lovers took advantage of the Taco A Day program, as you would for that price. Now, more high-speed chargers all over everywhere is awesome. I love this kind of news. That's true in particular if it's visible high-speed charging that people who don't own EVs will be able to see, which will encourage them to buy an EV once they see other people taking advantage of this service. Now, if you couple that with natural shade from the overhead solar panels and the charge net parking spots become the ones that you're gonna want on hot days. So, how are you gonna get those spots? Go out and buy an EV. Now, there's always a negative Nelly whining about things, and this is what Mike Tubbs had to say. Expect fights to break out, pitting ice car drivers versus EV drivers, taking coveted and covered EV charging spaces. Heck, they already have fights inside the restaurant. Well, Mike, sure, maybe there'll be a couple of those. But honestly, if you think about the benefits, they far outweigh any of the negatives. Thanks for watching the channel. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Would you use these? Would this encourage you to buy an electric car? The fact there's going to be chargers everywhere. Let me know what you think. Have an awesome day. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.